Um, we're going to go ahead and go over the agenda real quick. Um, on the first item that we have, which is the zoning text amendment, we're going to table that item until the next meeting. We, uh, we have not received a um, response back from the audience on the economic development, and that's one of the requirements. So, um, well, yeah, we send it in and then they have any uh, uh, response or recommendations or that type of thing. So that will be on next month's agenda. Okay. Um, as far as the Berlin Virtual Wayfinding Project, um, the two boards that you see over here, uh, we've been working on this for quite a while. Um, I had the company do the boards up so that we could have, it, have them in the best field so that people could take a look at them and see what they bought. We also, so that we could get it out there to the public um, and get the public's view on the designs um, in the front of our newsletter um, last month. We, we said, okay, here's, here's number one, here's number two. Can you please send us some input as to what you think? So that we weren't just sitting in here and deciding upon something for us to And the residents didn't have we didn't get the people didn't get their input. When I went to um, I, I did a manager speech at um, a Chamber of Commerce and I actually took photos of this also and put them on all the tables and then I asked, you know, what their reference was. Um, so what we got is we pretty much have a toss up. There's some there's some people that like the light, there's some people that like the dark, but they like it for different reasons. So um, we're hoping to um, um, to get a decision from council this evening so that we can move forward with our contract with them is construction documents and then from there we can move forward to try to apply for some grants and to talk, start talking to some business people and, and some people in the industrial parks and things about trying to get some signs going and, and uh, it'll be a, a pretty much a list of what's most important and uh, what we need to do first and it's a long range, it's a long term plan, but we just need an answer on which one. So hopefully everybody can do it. Well, why can't they do that right now? Well, we're just going over the agenda. So during the meeting, you know, everybody's had a chance to look at it. And like I said, when we got, when we got the answers back, the problem is we send, we send out um, approximately 2,800 newsletters. And I can tell you, we probably do that to all responses, which is very, very well. That's not okay. Is there anything you can do for building this? Or is it too far? Well, we want to make a decision, and everybody's gotten this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, if you want to do it, we'll be there staring at it. Yeah. But I think it's time just for us to make a decision. Sure. We've got a lot of people. I mean, it's, it's been out there. It's been out there for quite a while. Yeah, it's been out there. Okay, the next item that we have is the Flower Code River Repair Project. If you remember, that was on the agenda last month, and then we had to take a look and see if there was, a, there was an open line and there was some water in that open line, so uh, no sites got in contact with the DAP. They came to look at it, they gave an opinion that the water was not coming from the mine. Uh, we did have three quotes for an emergency repair, but since we were in this mode, we cannot use those quotes, so now we've got to get the project. Um, so, we will include some additional repairs that are undrained, they're not under drain either now because we had a water problem there before. We've had the backer out there cleaning the storm drains, and if we can't, the uh, senators are the ones who can handle before anything is done. So, we can get authorization. The next item that we have is a New York Street storm drain repair project, which came up this month on New York Street, where we had some issues with the sanitary repair, which is not even issues with the storm drain repair. There's actually a storm drain behind these houses that we did not realize was there. So we have Robinson Pipe come in, we have a camera the line, we have to clean the line, and there's all, some, all kind of crazy things going on in that line. Um, it doesn't have, we don't feel that it has enough capacity and we're going to have to do something with it because the property owners are um, very close to getting, when we get a hard rain, the water is going very, very close to their basement. So something else has come up 
It's like the steel tail wall of the I'm on the one section of the right comes down, droops, droops, drops real severe. It's just. And we're also afraid that because of those, it increases the water and the water shape that's coming down on us. It's probably 60 or 70 years old. No, 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 you're right. Let me mic it. Did you know that? He might have. 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 Is it a right away to fix it? Yeah, or yeah. I gotta check that. We have to check all that stuff. This is all organization for us to get started on checking it. The the farmers <laughs> are very anxious because, of course, they don't want to get a lot of money. And then, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, next item. You want to talk about that? New York? Storms I'm going to put my two cents in now. Oh, um, yeah. I think looking at this makes a lot of sense. Joe has done a very nice job of starting to pull things together. We get some ideas, plan, and specifications. I really don't think we have something to advertise yet to actually go forward with the project. I certainly think you would want to look at what Joe's thoughts are, but for the entire storm, the, the entire watershed up there, this is, a, this is a daylighting pipe, and I don't know that you've got the information yet to really advertise for the project. Am I missing something? Well, that's what he's going to do. Okay, well, I can, let me get the specifications together. We'll look at all the things we talked about, Pat, and then one thing is on the size of the watershed. How, how much is getting to that point, and maybe it's a, maybe we have to uh, pick away this. You know, the, the bigger part of at this point is to take care of the lower portion of the storm sewer system, so these people have properties in the front of in New York or in the back of the spot. And then maybe we have to go further up in the watershed to do something. I don't know. I'd love to see council authorize some engineering work on this. And advertise. Well, we're going to advertise for next month. How deep is this pipe? What size is it? That I don't know. So, which one part of the specifications? We need to do a survey throughout the machine elevation to see how deep it is. You can't see the inverter on one side. You can see the inverter on one side. Okay, I think there's an inverter on the end. Well, here's the thing it might be. Five, six feet deep, but we've got to do a profile, see what the ground cover is, and see how the wind This is what I was getting at earlier, I was talking about. I mean, why do you guys got to bear everything out? I mean, you know. Is I mean, I think you guys. Yes, so what about my state? You guys can't put a piece of corrugated glass and pipe from that? You got a backhoe. I mean, if it's not that deep, I mean, I don't, I don't get it why you guys can't do that. It's simple as fine. It's not as simple as you have to think. It's really I want the first piece of When you look at that video that's there, that pipe takes a severe drop at one point. You want to do a study on it because Gateway will make money off the study. Come on. Well, I mean, it's a piece of corrugated glass that pipes and anybody can walk inside and just uh, you know, you know, give it a little bit of fun. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can send you a video for you. I'll go look at it. I didn't know if that's right. I'll look at it. I'll do it for free. Yeah, I know. Well, right now, the property owners are very anxious every time it rains. So, um, you know, we don't have to advertise that we need authorization um, to move forward and getting these guys together and see what we have there. And if we find out and if we're having some issues with the rain, so if they're getting flooded, maybe we can have a special meeting. Um, the next item that we have is resolution number 2015 and that's a resolution authorizing uh, the board officials to acquire the property that you voted on last last month, 460 Mile Road, for other purposes to receive the deed for the condemnation and the reasonable consideration. And we will just compensation for the same. Um, we will move forward as soon as we're in Durban and 
Armstrong has uh, gotten on the razor end. Um, they were in there uh, for uh, twice. Friday. Yeah. Friday and today. And um, we've got the closing paperwork already. All that's been taken care of is part of what we talked about today. Brian Tessie's time, so um, we're looking at a closing date of approximately June 30th. I'll work on that one. And then we've got the current estimate that will buy the 2000. Project, and this would be the remittal on the uh, $1,134,736.32. Um, for the plan to date on the sole line construction project, we can move it along quite briskly. Joe has taken a look and uh, uh, you guys know how we're in all the quantities. Um, do you like to want me to go the projects in the country? Yeah, just, um, I always... We have an hour. Um, just for general information, I always do a pretty in-depth manager's report, but I don't read the entire report as we're sitting here. So a lot of times, um, when the public doesn't realize all the things that are going on, and all the different projects that are going on. So I put together just a uh, list and these are the main projects that are going on. We have a lot of other things happening. Um, but right now, we've got the Inside Pipe Ring and their camp, our CCTV project, Cam Ring, uh, Sanitary Sewer Lines. Uh, Jeff Jackson and Tom, they're lining our Sanitary Sewer, sewer Lines. So, line construction is here. They're, they're doing sanitary point for the pairs, including they will be lowering the manhole of the culvert over in um, a commercial spring. That would be one of the things that we're doing there. Um, we have all the road for getting the specifications uh, with the drainage and getting that fitting out. We've got a map of housing and vision plan that we've been working on with the county. Um, I attended the last meeting that was required last week. The county should have a draft out by uh, July or August. We are going to be required to adopt a plan by the September. We've got our 2015 road program meeting plan out right now, and we've taken advantage of it. Uh, the Pennsylvania Air and Water Company has made has uh, placed some uh, main lines on Mount Ellen and Mount Briar. Um, so we are going to pay those roads and we're going to share costs. Another item that's happening is down the concrete portion of the base of Ridge Road. That needs to replace the contacting the water company. The um, water company is going to put the line in there and then they're going to replace that concrete for us. So it's cost sharing and trying to work together so that we can get that work done. Um, we're going to have the mine hole closure on the DEP is taking the lead and that is up behind Mile Road. We're working on our zoning updates for the um, firm DEP. Um, our next meeting is going to be January 29th, and I do believe that will be at 7 o'clock, and that will be the public planning commission, and that's a public advertised meeting. Um, um, there was on my report there, there it says it states June 15th, but that's correct. It's June 29th at 7 o'clock. Um, we're working on our wayfinding program, and as you can see, we have our two boards over here. Um, we had sent in our newsletter to all uh, members of the community, um, giving them an opportunity to, to give their input as far as which, which design they liked better. We'd like to move forward so that we can uh, finish up with our contract with this company. They're going to give us construction drawings, and with construction drawings, we're able to apply for grants. Also, be able to go to uh, businesses and industrial parks, see if they'd like to share some costs, and see if we might be able to get some goodies and help them grow to maybe um, contribute some money toward our, toward the wayfinding signs or toward the um, to virtual signs. So, we have that going forward. Um, the task force, um, we've been meeting with, um, we had a meeting on Friday, we were working to get a meeting with the Pentagon Department. Widening of the bridge over in Bridgewell South Bay, also um, the widening of Frontier Street, looking at making a joy intersection at the top of Frontier and Lunswick. Um, so that is ongoing, it is not completed. It's, it's 
acceptable. In fact, uh, I am requesting that our webmaster place those plans on our website, and as they change and are updated, they'll be updated on our website so that everyone can see them. We've got the New York Street Storm Drain Project that we just talked about. Um, we received after probably six months of everyone telling us we're too slow, but we have to wait for a delegate to come to the to issue the permit to put our trash right in. So we're able to move forward with that now. I, I have the permit in my office. I actually, we knew we had it on Friday, but I got it in the meeting today, so we can move forward with that. And I also have met with the gentleman from Omega Company. Um, Done for real great trussel. I know that's been an eyesore for a long time, and we're trying to figure out a cost effective way to try to do something for that trussel. It's lead paint, so it makes it very hard. Um, but we talked about some ways that we can do it, and he's going to come back to me some of the things that he thinks we can do. So now I'll get that to you so that I things. That's just some of the things that are going on, and, and each month I'll just be updated. It isn't everything on my own so it can help us together, so. Okay. You can't write in the river, it's you can't. All right, the railroad doesn't um, dump it. The railroad does not paint any bridges when they have a bridge that is needed for repair and they replace the steel. But they said we could do it. How nice of me. Yes. How nice of me. How nice of them. And also, if you remember, um, uh, Headbot is going to be fixing that sidewalk underneath underneath that bridge area when the floods over there. So that's going to happen also over there. So trying to clean that up a little bit and start getting some work done on that little bit. Right now, so. Richard, that job on New York Street is a little more than what you did. I, I, you, you can, I know you do the right, We'll go around right. We'll go around right. 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 okay. I'll work all over. I've got a burger spot. They put a pipe in. I'm a little tiny in the world. Warren, I'm trying to buy. Bronze, population what? 25. I go to every yard and got they got all kind of uh, corrugated plastic pipe there. And you went know, the projects that she mentioned are, are, are a bit out of sight. It's like, you know, if I would have been worried about where she said I'm good looking, I would have had people. Cutting my grass, washing my dishes, doing everything. Maybe once in a while, I'd like to see this borough do something on their own. Or maybe you guys pour a little bit of concrete, put a piece of corrugated plastic. It's not hard to do. We just finished the project down actually right next to you. Yeah. 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 There are some larger projects that we can do, and right now we don't know what this project is going to help us. And who knows we may be able to do it, but we have to wait and see. And that's what Jim has to do, wait and see what exactly has to be done. What do you got to do? What do you got to do? What do you got to do? What do you have 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 to do? We need to go out there. We need to do a survey of what's out there going on, okay? Okay, determine how deep it is. I mean, you know yourself, any contractor that goes out there, and wants to bid the job, and wants to have as much information as he can to bid the price accordingly. If we go out there and tell the contractor, go out there and replace the pipe, he's going to give us some off the wall number because of the unknown. Right. You know, I've got, you got a situation where how deep is it? That's the question that every one of these guys ain't asked when you put a job. How deep is the pipe? Okay. Is, is the pipe four foot deep? Is it 15 foot deep? Okay. So they want to know so they can equip the job properly. Yeah, this might come down to a situation where we determine maybe this pipe could go in at a shallower depth, but it all comes down to what grade is that to be installed at to achieve the proper flow so we can have the velocity and the capacity for the pipe to handle the flow within the watershed. Okay? This pipe was put in 60, 70 years ago. I'm sure, you know, I'm not into trying to solve anybody's intelligence when we work with them, but I'm sure there was probably not even calculations as to what the capacity was. When we look at the videotape there, it looks like people took the pipe and they threw it in the ditch and they just covered up when they were dumped with stuff. So, you know, we've got to resolve the problem right there. The, the issue came to pass because the residents there found that the drain was not taking the water from the big 
Great. Yeah. Well, what size pipe is this? We, like, we had a, we had a, it's what, what size pipe? It's, it's 15 inch pipe. We had a, a, a storm here. I think it was. It just you know, came out the next one. Yeah. It was out the next one. It was a week, week and a half on Monday, and Pat met me. Well, 15 inch pipe will take a lot. Two I mean, if it's going up in the top or something, they get a horse on The 15 inch pipe will take a lot of fun. You know, that's what we're talking about. Joe is looking at this point. He doesn't, he doesn't figure out exactly what the problem is or what the solution is, which is why, and I appreciate the fact that he's trying to move quickly because the residents are concerned about it, I'm concerned about it, and so the, the, you know, Lori, the manager and the engineer are trying to move quickly, which is why I asked them to, I appreciate them trying to move quickly, but let's cycle it and get an idea first. Then maybe the borough can do it, as Lori just said. Maybe the borough workers could do it. Right now, we don't even know what the, what the problem is. Or we know the problem is, we don't know what the solution is. So if you can give them a little bit of time to look at it. And so that's the point right now. I don't know. 15 inches, I don't know. He has the length. He may hammer it. And I like the idea. Don't send me the face on There's only 500 foot of pipe in that Can't or can't? Can't. Okay. okay. He's, he's thought about a couple of ideas, but he's not sure which one to proceed with. He needs some time to actually work on and solve the problem. And I'd like to give him that time. I mean, I, I, thought, I got the email from the evening, and I was out there seven o'clock so the next morning meeting with the president and the gentleman who was available the week before he went to work. And Pat joined me, so we had a little nice conversation with him. We just wanted to get a small insight as to what was going on there. And we had the office of five thousand just about before the end of that week. Get the table. And what that determined was there was no defect. There was no blockage. No, no blockage. Right. So we don't have something that's not working the way it was. It's been working for the last 60 years. So it's been working for 60 years. It's been working for 60 years. It's been working for 60 years. It may not, it may not be big enough, but let's... I know you can go and talk about it. Okay, I'll do it. 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 So is that it in a nutshell? Still, you know, you get a nutshell. You get a nutshell. Just tell me if I'm wrong. There's not any blockage. There's no blockage. The line is working the way it's been working for the last 70 years. It was a big rain. Yeah. The line's been working that way for 70 years. Joe's going to take a look. The engineer's going to take a look and see if it's under capacity and maybe the line needs to be. Expand yeah. it. And it's We did camera after that manhole. We started, we started at Lesnar Road, down the entire length of the pipe, behind your property, and down to the power fall. I was telling, as I was telling Pat before the meeting, the camera stopped at the end of the pipe, and I looked out there in daylight, and I thought there was another pipe. And last week I was over there, found it was a garbage can. So, you know. I thought it was another pipe from what I see, so maybe it's not another pipe. Thanks, buddy. It's formally to the mouth. Just, I thought you were not the capacity. I thought you were not the capacity. You know, That's okay. It's not, as long as we're not talking about the property. No, we're not talking about the property. We can't. 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 We can't.